Hey guys, this is Van Atkins with Crossroads Entertainment. Today we're going to talk about uh, sending files to other studios to do mix or um, vocals. Um, we use Pro Tools here, but not every studio does. There's, a, there's several different DAWs out there that people use from Nuendo to Cakewalk, uh, Pro Tools. Uh, Propellerhead makes a, a new um, software now that, that's getting popular. Um, so basically what you want to do is send um, the studio consolidated WAV files that uh, are all the same length. That way they can import the audio files straight into whatever they're using and uh, everything's going to be lined up in sync and they can use their own DAW. They don't have to uh, worry about obtaining Pro Tools. So uh, I've got a session here that I've recently done and what we're going to do uh, is I've made a folder called uh, Transfer to put it in. So what we have here is several different regions. So in order for this to work, they all need to be the same length so they'll line up. So what we're going to do is go to Setup, look at our disk allocation. And I've already set this up, but normally what you would do is select all of these. That's, your, that's all your audio files. And then you would hit here. You would click here and go to uh, Select Folder. And... Let's select that folder that I've made, transfer, and open. So it's showing that anything we do to these audio files are going to go to this folder on this drive. We'll click OK. So the next thing is to consolidate. And we're just going to drag down and make sure we get all the audio files. And you want to go all the way to zero. And you want it to go past your longest file. So now everything in black is selected all the way back to zero on your timeline. And in Pro Tools, we're going to go here to Edit. And we're going to hit Consolidate Region. And it's going to process this. It takes a couple of minutes to, uh, to do all this audio. And once it does this, uh, it will go through and write all the files to that folder. And it's very important uh, that you make a backup copy of your session before you do this, because when you go into changing disk allocation, it's throwing files in that new folder that you made. So always have a backup of your session to work from. This is just for sending to um, another studio. Okay, now it's going to write our files. We're almost done with this part. Okay. Now we're done. So let's hit, uh, let's save our session. Control S. <clears throat> now, let's go look at that folder that we just made. It's in my drive here called Transfer. So let's open up Transfer. Now we have a folder here, Audio Files. There are all our files. They're all the same length. So now another studio can simply import all these files into their DAW, and it'll all line up, and then they can start working uh, from scratch. So um, that's all there is to... Uh, to doing this, um, if um, you're watching this and you you happen to be in the process of a project that you're going to be sending to Crossroads for us to mix or work on, this should help you out on what we need. Now, if you have Pro Tools, you can simply just make a uh, copy of your Pro Tools session um, th that you have on your hard drive, and we should be open it, be able to open it up. So there you go. Thanks for listening, guys. Till next time.